I want to hear from you, yeah, and if you can sing it if you want. What are you watching for in Lions Cowboys Saturday night? I'm going to channel my inner Dominique Foxworth. <laughs> run the football. Okay? <laughs> I want to see thing. if they can run it. Hit it for me, Foxy. Hit it for me. I'm, I'm trying to. I want to run <laughs> this team has this element. <laughs> That is. <laughs> I want to know if they have this element to their offense because I think if they have to become a straight drop back team with no confidence in their run game, this is a recipe for disaster for the uh, Dallas Cowboys. When we've seen them be explosive, we've seen them have both of those elements available to them. So this will be a good test against the Detroit Lions, whose defense is playing a lot better, by the way. Yeah. Look, if they're looking for tips on how to run the ball effectively, they can just watch what the Lions do. They're very good at it. They're good at a lot of things, yeah. uh, which is what Mike McCarthy, the Cowboys head coach, was saying yesterday. Here's what he had to say about the Lions. I think this will be our biggest challenge of the year. Uh, it's my personal opinion. Uh, you know, some people may differ, you know, as far as Philadelphia to, to pass games, but um, just based off what we've seen on video. Why good? Is that your personal opinion he can't as well? Even say San Francisco. The, Cow <laughs> the Cowboys. He didn't mention San Francisco. <laughs> he don't want to remember that one. No, mm -mm. you don't think this is their biggest challenge? Mm -mm. Why good? <laughs> no, they played. They played the 49ers. That yeah. was their biggest challenge. I think the score was 42-10. I think that was the score in that game. Um, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Detroit has two weeks ago we saw him put 63 points up on the board. We've seen them be very, very, very explosive from an offensive standpoint. But we've seen Detroit have their blips, too. They got blasted by the Baltimore Ravens, the team that blasted the 49ers. We've seen them lose some unconventional games. So I disagree with Mike on that one. Who, who is my guy? I love Mike McCarthy, but he's wrong on this. The other thing is this, though. This is where he may be, have, have a really good point. We had a, we at the point in the season now where there are no identity issues. We know who these teams are. So people now are starting to beat people pretty much straight up outside of some catastrophic things happen. Like if the San Francisco 49ers play Baltimore again, do I think they're going to turn the ball over four or five times? No, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they'll have to play a straight up game and see who's the better team. But between Dallas and Detroit, there are conflicting elements and styles in which they play. And that may be what he's alluding to. This is a physical football team in Detroit. They want to bludgeon you yeah. in the run game. And Jameer Gibbs and Montgomery may be one of the top five tandems in the NFL when it comes to running the football. So it, it'll be a task in that regard. But the 49ers were their toughest task this year. Dominique, I feel like I've heard a lot this year. Like people, when they, when they point out what's wrong with the Cowboys, some people like to say they're not physical enough, they're not consistently tough enough uh, up front. Is this, is this a good test of that against the Lions this weekend? Yeah, no one runs the ball nearly as well as the Detroit Lions do. Uh, the, the Bills, who ran the ball all over the Cowboys, don't consistently run the ball as well as the Lions do. So there's no secrets. As Swagoo said, at this point in the season, we kind of know who your identity is. And we know that the Lions are going to want to hit you off play action. But first, they're going to want to run the ball. And the Cowboys, that's their big question on the defensive side of the ball. Can they stop the run? They're moving Micah Parsons all over the place to see if they can figure out a way to use his athleticism and to not let the scheme scheme him out of the play. So we'll find out because they're not going to make a secret. They're going to come in and they're going to try to run through the Cowboys. We know that's going to be the crux of their game plan. And what are the Cowboys going to do about it is the real question. And can they do anything about it? Do the Cowboys, are they going to be able to prove anything to us with the, in this game on, on Saturday night? Their ability to bounce back, right? But in all honesty, sure. I, I don't think beating the Lions right now tells us anything we don't know about the Cowboys. I, I, Cowboys playing at home where they, they seem to always win at home. Like, if they beat the Lions, that to me won't tell me anything. My biggest question remains, can they go on the road and beat really good teams, something that they're going to have to do when the postseason starts. So playing at home, I would pick the Cowboys straight up in this one. Um, if they lose, like that to me would tell me a lot more about the Cowboys than than them winning. If they lose at home for the yeah. first time all year, that yeah. would worry you about them? Yeah, because that's the place where they dominate. That's right. the place where they, they are most secure at home. You can't have, you know, you can't lose to a team that you potentially could see in the playoffs or a, a potential Super Bowl contender. You gotta, you gotta be able to beat those teams, but I, I think the, the Cowboys have a good enough roster where they should be able to. Yeah, and that you mentioned they're coming off a loss. Detroit can, coming I off can. a win that clinched the division. What do you got, Swagoo? 
I can understand what K. Mort is saying about the home thing, but from a from like the football context, this is a terrible matchup for Dallas mm-hmm. when it comes to their defense. This is a this is probably this is bad now based on what they ha- have had the inability to do in defending the run and having to play Detroit. And if that, like Foxy brought up, if that play action comes alive because they are running with success, this team can blow the doors off of you. Like, so to me, she has, Kmart makes the perfect point about what we've seen from Dallas being at home. And you do have a lot more confidence in, in them, obviously. But when you get I, to the, the 22 guys on the field, these conflict of styles have shown to be a major problem for the Dallas Cowboys defense. I think that's what we want to see if they can handle the run game from the Detroit Lions because that is why they've lost on the road. Like, we can get to location and we can start talking about where they've been when the games have happened and when they have lost. They even got bludgeoned on the road in the run game. That's what has happened in those losses. Arizona ran it well and all of our eyes went up. And then we we just saw San Francisco ran it well. Sad and now man. we just saw a game in which Buffalo on the road took care of business and ran to the tune of 200 plus yards on them. So that's their issue. It ain't the damn location. They ain't stopped the run nowhere. <laughs> I, I understand. I, I understand. But you made a point earlier, Marcus, which was something that that I've noticed about the Detroit Lions. I was there for their their game against the Ravens where they got blown out coming into that game. I talked to coaches. I talked to players, talked to execs. They were confident. They were confident about where they were, and then they got the doors blown off them. I was also in Atlanta when mm-hmm. they played the Falcons, and that was a game where they allowed the, the excuse me, the Saints. I was when they played the Saints, and I was in New Orleans, and they allowed the Saints to stick around and almost win. Mm. And talking to to Montgomery yeah. after that game, he was ticked off. We're back on Get Up, and it's time for a game of right or wrong. Dominique Foxworth, am I right or wrong if I say Tua and Tyreek are the NFL's most lethal combo? Uh, You're right. Uh, I think Tua is the most lethal combo with just about any quarterback. No, uh, excuse me, Tyreek is the most lethal combo with just about any combo with any quarterback. No disrespect to Tua, though. He's been accurate and quick with the decision making. But yeah, Tua scares me more than anyone. Yeah, sorry we caught you during the costume game. Yeah, that's 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 our bad. We should have started with Kmart. Kmart, (laughs) right or wrong? Joe Flacco and the Browns. Uh, The Browns are Super Bowl contenders. This is so right. Joe Flacco straight off the couch into the Super Bowl. I think this team actually has a legit shot. Miles Garrett, you ask him, Joe Flacco, comeback player of the year. Kevin Stefanski, uh, coach of the year. Andrew Berry, executive of the year. And Miles Garrett, he could be defense player of the year too. This team is loaded. Clean awards sweep there in Cleveland. Uh, according to Kmart, Swagu, right or wrong, Jalen Hurts has regressed this season. Wrong, wrong. And I, look, we could just go straight sheer numbers and say that he's thrown more interceptions and he's not. First of all, I think Jalen has dealt with a knee issue all season long. And second of all, this offense is not the same. They don't call plays the same. Shane Steichen, by the way, is in Indianapolis. So there has been an adjustment period. But take Jalen Hurts off this team, they probably have five wins instead of 11. So, no. Hell no. Hell no. I like that answer. And with a He's hell right. no there on Jalen Hurts. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do think Hurts has spoiled us because we're used to seeing him progress so significantly every single year. Progress. One year, he doesn't make as big a jump, and now we're wondering if he regressed. I guess that's that's life in a big city when you get the big contract. The Eagles are 11-4, and yeah. four, but they haven't looked quite the same as they did last year. Uh, And that's been a big topic, as you would imagine, in Philadelphia. Yesterday, their head coach, Nick Sirianni, talked about the balance between finding joy in their wins but also striving to meet their standard. I can promise you we're having fun uh, when we win. Uh, I know that a thousand percent. There's a difference between having fun and and not being satisfied with what um, the product was on the field, right? The standard, not meeting the standard. Um, And so... When you don't meet the standard, you're always constantly going through your mind of, um, hey, here's what we could have done better. Here's what I could have done better, right? It always starts with you looking at yourself in the mirror. It is the season of joy. I guess people are concerned that Nick's not having enough They're fun. They're not having fun. They're not having, <laughs> you're, you're, on, you're not buying not it. Just watch their faces, listen to them talk after the game. Yes, they are glad they won, but they are not happy, nor should they be, because hmm. of how they are playing. 
Neek, what do you think? How, how, how should they be feeling about things in Philadelphia right now? Yeah, they should be feeling pretty fortunate that they've won as many games as they won. They've been in a lot of close contests, and I think they should feel good about what they're doing headed into the playoffs. They have a battle-tested team, and that's the bright side. The fact that they haven't played incredibly well uh, on either side of the ball, frankly, but really poorly on the defensive side coming into the season is concerning. But I think that they can still beat just about everyone except for the 49ers, and that's true of just about everyone in the NFC. So they're in a good position. We'll see. If they play the 49ers, it's not impossible. They'll be the underdogs for sure. They can beat the 49ers, but they're going to need a heroic effort from that defensive line, and they haven't been uh, getting those game-changing sacks that they are accustomed to getting.